Greetings, adventurous travelers and fellow keepers of the lake. Today, I want to talk about uh, one advice that I wish someone gave to me when I started DMing, and it's a pretty simple thing. The idea here is uh, when you start DMing, uh, depending on which like school of thought you come from, what is your first DM and how you got into the hobby. But for example, for me, I started by playing in a game where uh, my DM was kind of simulating everything. And like uh, he wanted that slow burn effect where you have a couple of sessions, maybe two, three, four, five, ten, which like gets out of hand pretty quickly where you just like do the sandbox like slowly chip away at something until you come to a place where something interesting happens and i'm not talking about like uh, small things that happen like you see a rat folk stealing something from a merchant or something like that i'm talking about like grandiose things that are happening and i think this is more applicable to fantasy i would say than it is for for example modern games for example, I wouldn't do this in cult, but I would do this in fantasy. I think you can do this in sci-fi, it makes sense. Let's say that we are talking about all games that are somewhat fantastical. So basically, uh, my advice here is don't do the slow burn when you're starting out. Like, you will feel, get a feel for it when you are DMing long enough, but uh, in the beginning, just focus on, like, bringing the cool things to the table as soon as possible. I have actually a good example of this, and it is when one of our players, uh, the one who is playing in our ma main campaign, he decided to try DMing and he was doing like a homebrew that is set in our world. And we were back to like level 3. In our main game we are level 9, but we were back to level 3 and he wanted like to prepare an epic story, an epic tale, as you usually do. But he started it out with like a slow burn. You are in the city, you get to meet people, you don't really have a quest and quests are like go slay some orcs. And he was like building up to it and you can feel that there is something more to the town, but you don't really like have interactions with that stuff. It's like all in secret. Some secret things are happening in the town. And after like three or four sessions, we were like, okay, well, what is our purpose here? What are we doing? Uh, we didn't have the feeling that we are const that we are like riding a wave of like excitement. We were mostly running errands. So I explained to him after the session that in the moment where we uh, like didn't know what to do, it is all about subverting expectation and like breaking the flow. So if you are, for example, in a tavern where everyone is like uh, chatting and stuff is happening and everyone is like yelling, suddenly everything stops. Complete silence. Only the player characters are able to move. They see the, that the time has stopped. They sense the some like shining light is coming from the outside. So they go outside and what they see is like a giant flaming phoenix bird is engraved into the sky and it just stands there. Nothing happens. It, just, it, it is just there. And this city, it was uh, not that full of magic. It was like low fantasy stuff. So for the people in that city, now the paradigm changes. Uh, they have to adapt. They have to learn to live with this giant bird on the sky. And I, I would say that the time freezing thing, it just continues. There is no explanation on why it happened. But it changes so much in just one or two sentences. Doing a slow burn until you get to the flaming bird, like, ooh, I can't wait for them to come to the flaming bird. No, just do it right away. Each time you prep a session, if you have something cool and you're like, mm, I can't wait for them to see this, make it happen in this session. Always do that. You will never run out of creative thinking. You will always have something else that's cooler and maybe different and interesting spring to your mind in between sessions when you prep. When you come up with something that's interesting, I know the feeling where you're afraid that you won't come up with like another jewel like this. But you will. Trust me. You will just take your cool stuff and throw it onto your players right away. And this is the best advice I can give you. This is something that people talk about in other videos, but I I want to really, really, really emphasize it. Just cool stuff goes out in the next session. 
Don't prolong it, don't make it a slow burn. You can do a slow burn for like some plot points and some plot twists that are tied to like NPCs that are maybe some reoccurring characters or something like that. That makes sense. But like cool flashy things that will make your players say, wow, that goes right away. Make the cool shit happen right away. And as always, keep on going, keep on loving, keep on being creative, play more D&D, &D, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell, keepers.